All right, uh, today is March 4, 2022. I have identified a uh, few people on through the Facebook involved in MK Ultra, two of these guys, which they were in Poland. These are such an early Polish, Poland mission uh, guys that none of them suffered spine injuries. I don't think any of these two had a spine injuries. Uh, these are like like one of the earliest people that departed to Poland. So this is interesting to me. Um, one guy is from Dallas, from Dallas, Texas, and the other one is American who moved, I think, from Pennsylvania somewhere. Um, who moved down under? Uh, that's basically to Australia. Let's see how this went along um it started with what you're about to see here okay let's do this one here okay so i'm gonna be making things difficult in respect to this the only thing i'm gonna say is <clears throat> that's his wife he tells me of 14 years if so then they got married in 2001 uh she is Croatian. I look at her. She looks like completely like Ukrainian. She is actually Croatian. Um, this guy was in Poland on a, on a Hunger Games and Donald Trump's Hunger Games, James Brake. Uh, he didn't want to have anything to do with me anymore. Um, claimed that he had a lot of troubles, I don't know, I think more politically related troubles. Uh, this here, this is his sister. He wouldn't give it, give up on me because of his sister, because I always had a crash on his sister. Bad break Johnson, she was involved in this stuff, maybe, I don't know, also since 1995. Okay, so I don't do this on a Facebook, till now I didn't. And in a little bit, you're going to understand why. But because these two guys really were in Poland, uh, I feel kind of exceptional that I'm actually going to do this stuff. And I do like to thank all these people, uh, even though I have to say that this is worse than the Soviet Union. And that's why I don't like doing this stuff on a Facebook. Because I expose people, I tell the people about facts, and I never get anything in return, which is crazy. It's like, these people would come to you uh, from the western part of the world, and that's all the fuck there is to it. You get to see the person, you identify person, and he does not even give you yes or no. Or at least, how do you know? You know, that's completely fucked up. Anyhow, uh, she, after parting him, after the two divorced, I don't know, maybe maybe this was in 2015, I anticipate. I anticipate in 2015, the two went apart. She actually did marry Ukrainian guy. She looks Ukrainian, she's a croy, this is a really beautiful woman, and she ended up marrying a uh, Ukrainian guy. She, so that was the guy that got married like in 2001, if that's true. Okay, she has also a higher education. She has a degree. He's a very educated person. Now James was something pissed off about me because that I protested uh, her and this and that, and that she went uh, away from him because of me. Well, I would prefer her for myself, to be honest. And uh, yeah, whenever things would not work out, uh, I would already do my share of shit problems on a picture, I was like a monkey, uh, I would do my stuff, whichever way I would know, and it seems like it left, like, deep scars, maybe, maybe it's because of this, that he blocked me afterwards, I have no idea, um, after I revealed him, uh, who she is, um, who he is, and after I identified another individual, a friend of his who became friend of his through this very case through his Polish Hunger Games, right? So, for me to say, 
It was not my fault that she left. According to her words. Okay. You understand? According to her words. And according to the words of some lady that got the two together. This was a catch. This woman was simply a catch, right? And so, I'm going to tell you that it was a Croatian president, Kulinda, that got him this girl. Okay? According to this girl, the things got weird in Texas, in Plano, where James Brake is from. So weird, and I'm talking about MK Ultra. It started to happen in her circle between him and her. And it was other men that came on the picture and shit. She said bye-bye. You know, it wasn't me that this marriage would fall apart or whatever. But it was just the circumstances, James, you're in. Uh, I don't know what the fuck goes on over there. I know George Bush is not too far from there. Uh, but she took off. That's all there is to it. Now, I would not grieve over woman. Um, I understand that this can be... A very difficult matter but you got to think about because I'm saying this to you you are about age like myself and at that age you don't have a time to grieve of the woman I'm gonna put it this way because every minute lost is a minute of chance that you will encounter another female and try to improve your circumstances around your home and, and move on with the life because remember uh, just like I teach you guys in Poland our life is a bitch get going whichever way the hell you know and believe me this is going to be the best advice you ever got uh, the next person okay let me just go and I'm gonna demonstrate you what exactly I have written here aha uh -huh, okay Okay, uh, uh, because I was, uh, all right, uh, that's another guy. Uh, this stuff applies to this guy, James Brake. He uh, simply blocked me, so there was no chance for me to. First, I was sure that she was Ukrainian. Uh, no, she's a Croatian with this facial characteristics. Uh, females in Croatia are not very very few with with exactly this kind of these are totally totally ukrainian facial characteristics so she is gorgeous she's really really gorgeous i mean uh another friend of his comes out that's james green now this is a part of the james break scenario too what i'm talking about because james break told me that uh once you um you know once you um once you identify me i don't know what's going on man i i really have a, such a weird feeling about united states of america uh man uh it also felt that when he was here in this house he would come to visit me i would go there it also made me feel when he said to me when he said james to me but I'm going to do this and you're going to meet uh, this other guy, you know, Jim Green. Uh, that's the next guy right there I'm going to. Uh, man, uh, I, I don't know what the fuck goes on, but when you said that stuff to me, uh, I was hurt because I wanted to, to get to know you. Uh, you're just a really nice person all around and... Uh, it made me really shitty now that he actually realized this scenario. Uh, you know, I'll get, to, but I'll get to to know you with this guy, and then he, then then it will be no more. You know? so I have no fucking idea what goes on this, but this is bad. I wish you all the best, James, and uh, honest to God, I hope you find your way back to me too as a friend. Uh, now the Jim Green. A mean machine I'm just kidding uh, he is he, he is humorous he he is like played for um, I feel quite fortunate he did accept my friend request uh, and um, 
We ha we already had some fun here, riding down to each other. Uh, what the hell was that, anyways? That's just not very good recorded, is it? Okay. So you can see that pretty much this is the stuff I'm talking about. I don't know what I wrote him, probably nothing smart, I was just joking. Ah, uh, no, he called me an asshole. Um, that's a problem, yeah. Uh, if, if the babe was good looking, I tried to steal one from the guys anyways. That's his sister, that's a sister from James Brake, but okay, I want to go back to, uh, I'm not going to go into this stuff here, this is, this is a plan of Texas, okay, um, this here, it's a little bit more interesting to me. So this is the next guy I identified. He is from Centralia, Pennsylvania, where the Graf Dracula is. That's quite humorous with me. And um, I thought I would give it a shot. And now the guys are gonna already bitch that I I demonstrate what the names and shit. Man, uh, you know. Um, you should at least give me okay something like this and it's 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 it became united states and west it's like a fucking soviet iron curtain or something we're talking about here for me it makes me really really awkward okay this is uh where he is from and sometimes in 98 james uh in this case sorry jim departed for australia but it was this man in the 1995, exactly in 1995, that's who became his stepdad. Now I'm not going to go over the pictures because that sucks. That, uh, that's the stuff I'm not going to do. Uh, and he got a deal, I understand. He got a deal. Uh, he was a city boy, his stepdad. Uh, and he wanted to move out from what I can recall, and it was uh, Buckingham Palace, it was the Royals that got him like a huge chunk of land uh, right outside of some, uh, well obviously what is this, Melbourne, okay, uh, and purchased this land, uh, landed over there with a the family, uh, this guy was some kind of mechanic or something like this from what I can recall, and it was exactly Jim Green, the mean machine from Polish Hunger Games that landed from I don't know what planet to what planet and I keep joking because once you started to joke with me I'm gonna joke this is just I don't know why I have no idea why I'm like this uh, but that's just the way it is rather than this I'm gonna go back because I wrote him like extensive extensive comment so I give him here, yeah, I already tell him here, because uh, he said to me, what was he said to me? Yeah, that, that, that uh, I am sure I wouldn't try Dodge Challenger. Well, yeah, he was a, he was into Dodge Challenger, and Dodge Challenger was nice. Uh, Americans condemned me. Americans condemned me because under MK Ultra they didn't like American cars, and that's that's a really that's a really really bunch of horseshit. And this stuff actually screw me so badly in the U.S. Like you have no fucking idea. I think that American-made cars, like Crown Victoria and stuff, and uh, I don't know now Chevy Impala and the whole set of these cars are really safe and really comfortable and good cars. I had a, not Chevrolet, but I had a Buick Regal. 
Uh, I've seen the, the crash test of the car. That car, which is a copy of Maserati, Italian car. How the fuck I would not like this? Uh, it's just really outstanding ratings, and it was, uh, I don't know what year was it, man. That was an old car, but still, maybe 89, I have no idea. <clears throat> Something like this, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, that was my first uh, car in the U.S., and um, that's just not true. So, it was this man here um it was it was it was jim green who came up with that's not true that i don't like american cars and he came up with a 71 dodge challenger 71 dodge challenger you can go and you can see it this is a really beautiful car And actually further reminded me of a German made Opel. The interior, the size of the car. Um, it just looked like the car from my uncle from Bela Kraina. And he was so happy to have that car and drive us around. So why the hell I would not like American cars? I don't know. But it was Jim Green, who stepped on my side, and he motivated me on the MK Ultra to like this car. And so this is really American car. Uh, I don't think I could say no to this beauty. This is, this is a really, really beautiful car. Is the car beautiful? Because it takes you right back to the time when I was actually born in 1971. Okay, so... Um, so, but he goes on, and, and he becomes a little bit... Uh, interesting here I didn't take that seriously but he tells me uh, sure you wouldn't try a 71 Dodge Challenger and uh, I go on and I joke with him because I immediately know aha okay um, I wrote him like extensive comment. I don't know nothing about. Um, I I uh, I I am trying to desperately. He became like serious because I was. I was I was joking about what what I was. Aha, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this stepdad from from uh, from James uh, Green. Man, uh, what a beautiful girls. Those girls, I, those girls were about like I don't know, man. Like about like just ready to to get married down under in Australia in Melbourne area uh, there were two one was all in the other and the other one was the one I think that this dude grabbed uh, I was even offered that option which I know that as soon as I would go and reach out for it it would be just like reaching out for air basically nothing would ever happen on that. Um, but I'm sorry at least I didn't I didn't try <laughs> Because these girls are really beautiful, and the thing about it is that uh, I was, I thought about myself like really, really ambitious, like because of the, because of MK Ultra, uh, it was completely illegal. I felt that the people who engaged in this stuff. And that's how I preserved my sanity. I went straight, I developed straight my own mentality, my own views on this, so that I would not be in any way modified, changed, uh, manipulated in absolutely any way. I can actually not even imagine what it is like to be a, um, 
Actually, I can. Probably these are the people that they are just like regular people. They just go along with anything. Anything you throw them, they, they just jump on. And that's it. And that's what they call life. I don't. Uh, I figure out that anywhere from British Crown to Vladimir Putin to absolutely every everybody, Germans, everybody, nobody had a right to touch me. That's that's like in my constitution, my own constitution, written with the golden letters. Nobody had a right to touch me. Nobody had a right to do this. And from there in, it's a crime, it's abduction, it's hijacking. It's not only using me jucked up for certain political purposes, geo-economical uh issues uh, they benefited from heavily therefore I entitled myself according to them who had man Andrew had women all over the place talking about Prince Andrew Charles did some stuff um, everybody was having a really ball of time I'm not going to go into Putin because that was like a fucking rape I think every week with a new woman. This was just a little fucklet, excuse me, to express myself, who just was addicted to rape people that were asleep, basically. I'm not going to even go into that shit. Uh, and then later he started to enjoy, you know, they started to use this kind of uh, seducing methods, basically ambush female during the sleep uh, engage in sex with her present themselves as something uh, using a psychiatrist and psychologist methods the least if not more absolutely more they had other people collaborating engaging in stuff brainwashing these girls uh, presenting issues on why when jocked up on why they should see why they should like let's say somebody like Putin, uh, evaluate basically, you get a psychologist, psychiatrist that evaluate an individual who wants to have a relationship with somebody uh, through MKUltra, which are the dots that he or she likes and which are the dots that he or she doesn't like. And then the only thing you basically go on uh, touch on a dots that the person doesn't like through a, such a way that you present person with painful uh, issues painful experience uh, concerning the stuff that uh, the person doesn't like you understand so you rape him you push him in the head with ideas that person doesn't like uh and uh, you equal those with what she doesn't like on this guy or, or on this girl and in between this you interject ideas about the stuff that she likes and back and forth and play uh and then it's some kind of a sexual act that comes in between and there you have it uh it becomes more and more intense the rape becomes more and more intense and then a rapist basically meets a person in a broad daylight one day basically hello and for that hello you could go as far as do to the person literally that you would unzip your pants and she would jump down and do it basically that's how far this goes. This goes into the field of hypnosis, subconscious mind. I told you about, I mentioned about Rudolf Steiner. And that's what actually saved my life. Because, like I said, in grammar school, I read the book about Rudolf Steiner. Uh, and why? Because it becomes, if it's repeated and repeated and repeated to you, 
your subconscious mind develop, can develop also a reaction that is based on a reflex. Like, if you would hit me like right here on a on a this um, on this part of the uh, yeah, it's gonna come to me. You would have hand jumping back and forth, right? Because it's a reflex. It's a reflex. Commodes. I don't know how you say that in English right now. <laughs> or the same on a, on a kneecap, basically the same thing, you would get response. If you repeat this over and over and over and over and over again, and that's what you see when you see this guy, a mass hypnotist, that walk inside of the room and he does like this, and the audience goes like this. That's because every one of these people was heavily subjected. It's real. Every one of those people, however, sometimes it's fake. Uh, if people want to be fake, if they want to look fake, it's fake. Otherwise, it can be real. Um, the dumbest that somehow don't fall asleep, find themselves confused, and don't even know what the fuck happened. Anyways, that's MK Ultra. Before the session, before the so-called hypnosis, hypnosis session, uh, in front of the audience or the TV, that's what that is. MK Ultra is wild, wild spread throughout the world. I would need a police basically for MK Ultra to enforce the rights of the people that settle for this kind of life because sometimes it's a fable, but I think in 90% I think it's a nightmare. I don't think the person ever get to live the potential to his or her potential, full potential. Yeah. You understand? So if you go back to this issue about uh, if you go back to this issue on why, okay, I did explain why, because, 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 number one, this is a crime, no good, a hijacking, a torture, uh, it could be, in my case, it was the most severe, and it's not related to, to Jim Green or James Blake, Hell no, these are really one of the nicest people involved in this stuff. Uh, it was something also done so they could get their goodies, but I don't like to bring about this stuff. I'm not going to go after any of these guys. This is not because it was just too much, because it was a politicians, it was the royals that basically extorted. They demanded no crime, no no land sale, no no fucking no fucking credit for the car, no for the house, or maybe even a money for something and this and that. This is just the way it is. This is the world. That's how it works. The people who have a money extort it. Uh even for the jobs and shit, for the job security, for the purpose of job security in this case. So there was a list, a fucking thick list that it was given to Borat Pahar of volunteers, they have written their own names on it, right here in this village, right around here, around this village, for the sake of the jobs. So they tortured, they performed the torture, and then Borat Pahar and Milan Kucha, the politicians from Ljubljana, they would open them a jobs over there to uh, Renault here, to the Kirka Pharmaceutical, back and forth, or give them a promotions based on the shit, and so on and so forth. That's basically how it worked. Uh, it's nice, that these two guys came by, I'm actually really, really thankful. Uh, but I, I have to explain, I have to demonstrate that knowledge into depth about this. Otherwise, uh, people that watch this and should be concerned about it will never understand. They don't. They understand them fucking good. They just don't want to understand because they corrupt. Because they get their piece of cake. They get their piece of share in it. That's all there is. And it's my time that's sticking out. And it go all is commensurable with their profits, basically. This is what the human rights are. Okay? So, from that main statute of mine, about hijacking, about abductions, what a crime is, and it taken in consideration that I was the most desired item in the world. I don't know. 
I don't know how I would how I would refer to myself under MK Ultra slave, but this was this this is how you don't even treat slaves. Sorry, you don't give the slave fucking ten thousand more death threats, uh, beatings, and I don't know what, uh, so that you get your shit done. You don't do this shit. Come on. Um, so that you look good, uh, so that you do bad stuff and you even hide yourself behind him claiming that he is trying to destroy you and shit, all kinds of crap. Uh, yeah. um, going from that statue of mine, as number one, it breaks down that the money that I produced in that world with which I didn't want to have absolutely nothing to do in real time. I wanted to have a separate, I separated the two worlds. One was MK Ultra, one was in real time. In real time I went and I did my best to get job, to get paid, to buy myself a house, build myself a family. This was the idea, to provide for the house already for the future family. This was my idea in real life. But when you go back to MK Ultra, why the fuck would I settle for that? American, the U.S. government promised me half a trillion dollar in 2000, in 99, half a trillion dollar if I could ever prove this case. And I told you about Norwegian and German and British was like 50 billion in 96. Why the hell would I settle for... Um, uh, even that this girl's to go girl that that uh, that James Brake uh, that Jim Brake have married with the guy from Down Under now were extremely beautiful girls. I felt like fuck that. No, no. The guy like myself that is worth that kind of money in that kind of world is not gonna go and settle for one girl. I'm not gonna go, this is, this is like, you don't understand the shit I have gone through MK Ultra. <laughs> I see this Prince Harry, I see Prince William, where well, I'm the man, I'm the fucking man. I'd like to see you one fucking day going through the, what the fuck I did. I'd like to see you having balls like I had for 25 years, three and a half years straight, dropped up 24-7 dealing with the people like this then you're gonna be the fucking man when you can do stuff like this when you can play the whole world around your finger that's why i also considered myself as majesty of the majesties i didn't give a fuck about any emperors any kings any presidents any any fucking body read the statute number one hijacking abductions human trafficking death threats and all that shit what makes me even if you are king even if you are whatever you are you have no right to that remember according to international treaties to the human rights laws and everything else that's why you see that's why i created my own if i would go along with a flow first of all i would be dead already a long time ago i wouldn't even get into that shit i figure out that too that if I would go with the flow, if I would do that kind of stuff, I would have been gone already a long time ago. Because one had to survive first. This is about the survival. This is about the extreme techniques of survival. This, this is about dealing with a completely insane people at the time. Some of this MK Ultra staff members, like this guy here was, or the Russian guy who was coming here, were completely insane. Dr. Kota lost son here. You, you, I dealt with the mental patients. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter if, uh, if they're told, well, you're not supposed to do this. You remember? You're not supposed to do that. I figure out these people are going to fucking whack me at one point in time. Eventually, because it's called pathos. Because this shit collects in an individual. The governments eventually had to put down some people because they became so aggressive. Eventually, some of these people were on the brink to whack me at the times. And so, 
with some of these people, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, I didn't find a way other than to pretend stupid. And at least temporary, see it their way. What are you going to do with a terrorist when you find yourself stranded in some fucking building and puts the knife gun on your forehead and is a psychopath and you know he's a fucking psychopath? Are you going to go and you're going to try to be yourself or you're going to at least try to pretend insane and see it his way? You see, that's why I'm still here. Let's go back to this case because this is crazy and it shouldn't even have anything to do with this guy. This guy already was very, very cautious about this stuff. He said to me, sometimes you gotta get, man, sometimes you gotta get into their fucking mind games because things are too fucking wild. Especially you have to get into the mind games because they do some really crazy shit. I was at the clinical center here in Ljubljana, uh, in emergency room. It was all kinds of shit they would do to me, uh, blood dialysis, they would bring me to the hospital uh, from Gorianci, covered in a fucking blood because some lady pushed me down there. Nothing but a fucking stones, man. Uh, I was in a strange fucking situations. You have no fucking idea with a strange people. If you don't, you, see, you know, they, they just, it's enough that one snaps and does something and you jumped up and there's nothing you can fucking do. This about fucking remote control. Mike Tyson, I remember, slammed me and punched me and stuff like this. Can fucking do anything. It's fucking remote control and you are unplugged down and frozen in a second and anything can be done with you it doesn't have to be strong person it could be a child that can actually kill you under this kind of circumstances under anti ultra it doesn't have to be a strong person it could be it could be it could be a 10 year old boy that could potentially stab you with a knife do something to you of course the children are the safest to be around children this kind of stuff would not cross their mind not even in a million years but adults quite a few adults displayed a severe pathological uh, psychopath psychopathic uh, tendencies. A psychiatry also used me to separate people also like this in many ways from society if they couldn't but you know fuck that. It's nice that you know that that's police around that they're not too far but you know the police officers didn't like me oftentimes they didn't fucking like me you know you take a break go fucking smoke uh, or takes a pee and something happens in a moment and what I got real injuries from this shit uh, uh, with this quarter poisoning here went on and stuff and, and what and the politicians knew and it was like always was like oh we got them we recorded them and stuff like this we, we got them we got them from American side this shit never came out it always it always came out with more methods they agreed up upon uh, on what else the fuck to do to me. <laughs> so, anyhow, I figure out that one lady would not be enough for me. That also had to do something with the Croatia. In 95, uh, it was a Croatian politicians that had this beautiful woman. And it was these dudes that had one, two, three more women go every fucking place. A woman. So I wanted also women. Oh no, you're gonna have this one. Okay, I'm gonna have this one. And which? What else you gonna give me? You, you gotta give me more. You gotta give me two more. Whatever. If you live like this and you have not proven anything compared to myself, 
And I'll tell you this shit. If you can do it for one hour, for one fucking day, this is what I did in my pants. And you're something. Why the hell would I settle for one whatever and go and, uh, you know, award the lady with I don't know how much money. This is just, this was just the MKUltra world. That's what they asked from me. That's how they wanted to, whatever, set me up. That's how I saw it. And I wouldn't allow. In real world, I would die for those ladies. I was trying to get the ladies. And ladies were interested in me, but not allowed. They created their rules. I created my rules. That's just the way it is. They played hard their way. That's the point. And I play even harder my way. Yeah, it's 27 years now, whatever you call me maybe even a loser or whatever, I don't feel like I am. And you're not going to prove me wrong. Uh, I told you about both guys. The only thing I can do now is, what I can do now is I can go. That was the same case with these Australian girls here. Uh, um, uh, the only thing I can do is, now I can uh, play you this uh, comments here, but that's about it. Then you got, what, three, four people identified. I didn't touch uh, Jim's sister yet. I hope the Jim also is not going to block me. Now, that sucks. Um, that totally, totally sucks. I asked him to please not. Uh, and I was really so happy that I can, that I can joke because I like, I like, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I just I just like to joke all right uh, and so um, by the nature I'm a very very humorous person uh, simple as this I'm a very humorous person and uh, that's just the way I am I'm a very humorous person and so I'm also asking uh, uh, this guy this mr. break to to find the hell your way to me uh, I would really like to thank you for Mr. Green. I would like to meet both of you. I'd like to meet this family in Australia. I'd like to meet you folks. Uh, I still think it's outstanding, but you know, just saying hello and then just disappearing and stuff like this. That's not nice. You know, that's not a way to go. All right. Uh, so both of these guys eventually were in Poland. Uh, as far as what well, I would say, let's go here. Yeah, that's his son, I know. He figured out I don't like him, but then there was a problem because uh, I like his sister. So what the hell? I mean, you know, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, I do, I do video record stuff like this because uh, I am not going to go over this. Jim Green, uh, the only thing I can say is, I don't know what else I can say. Uh, I told him already on that wall that with his step that they are selling a car parts, yes, uh, his step dad. I think I'm crazy today. Uh, that's his father-in-law Okay, that's his father-in-law. Sorry about that stuff. That's his father-in-law. I am not gonna go and record another video uh, English is not my first language uh, but with his father In law from Australia uh, They started the car parts sales business uh, and so I wrote in that stuff also on on the internet they would always bring me to Australia to these people I would meet them um, what else I can tell about this 
He came first in 98 over there. He was smelling around. But when he saw those those girls, uh, these Australian girls, maybe he had uh, three daughters. I don't actually know, to tell you the truth, but I know that he had two for sure. Maybe even three. I don't know. Uh, he made up his American mind real fast and uh, moved down uh, to Australia. Uh, the car parts business, I don't even know uh, anymore what exactly I wrote him here. And that's because that's the way it is. Oh, he does me here comment. You sir clearly have not seen the bill for a nice dinner and movie recently. Uh, car parts are a bit cheaper at this point. It's also uh, by a very rare and obscure word, humor. You see, he was the one, you see, Jim Green, Mr. Jim Green was the one who, who incited me in a humor. Okay, so, so, so why to resent me? No. Uh, the thing is that, you see, you, see uh, you, sir, clearly have not seen the bill for a nice dinner and a movie recently. Those are the words that he repeated me under MK Ultra. I will identify him. I will have to identify him exactly according to his words. And I did. So that's not a stepdad, that's his father-in-law, and I don't know why am I talking about a stepdad now. Blah. And that's an elbow, sorry, uh, what I mentioned, what I wanted to mention to you earlier, that's an elbow. I need to go to the restroom, folks, that's, that's, a, real, that's a real issue, so I want to finish this video. And I'm not going to record one because I like the part about this video, about the part that I explained to you how the MK Ultra works. Okay, that's that's the part I like. And so, what else? Uh, what did I written him? And that, that that's it because I got to go to the restroom. Let me see this. No, no, no. Uh, if you are up for a humor, I'm a very, very humorous person. I love humor. Uh, if I wouldn't like humor, I really, that's the second thing I wouldn't be around. Uh, it's just because of the humor I am around. Okay, so realizing just how important this is, I'm going to demonstrate you that comment. That was basically why he blocked me. And I really didn't mean harm with this. I was just humorous. Okay, so here is the, the comment, okay? So, I have written him here. Yeah, I would prefer to have seven ladies versus one. Under MK Ultra. But in real time, I don't know, maybe one girl already can be a lot of trouble. Um... Yeah, he got to know this Australian, uh, what became, as I properly, uh, did I, did I say it here also, uh, stepdad? I hope not. No, uh, that's kind of embarrassing. It's been, it's been, uh, sometimes since I left United States of America. I left one in 2009. And I'm not born in the U.S. I'm not. I'm not an English-speaking person. I'm a Slovenian native, uh, and I think I still handle one pretty well. But with exception of this here, this is this actually is really embarrassing. I apologize for that. Step dead. Yeah, that's a disaster. Eh? Owner of some car parts business. He has started the car parts business as soon as. Uh, as soon as the man, Mr. Green, I didn't mention here that I uh, moved down under. And so they started together with his father-in-law, 
they started the car business, the car part sale. What was the year when they started this stuff? Uh, I actually, I have told him, I think somewhere that it was Americans that would come down there. They would evaluate what the potential, uh, they would make evaluation for him. And then they got him all the connections, the set him up with the connections and the business just simply took off. Uh, making a good money now, but really started really just with a, with a piece of land. And I think his father-in-law, like I said, it was a mechanic. Um, and, uh, he just, he was just tired of the Melbourne, of the city life, and he just wanted to move out, out of the city, have his life with the family. That was his way. I, I like the idea. I, I like it. Uh, listen, they started this business, the two of them, because Jim Green came 98 to smell around 99 he already grabbed that girl 2000 boom i'll tell you sometimes in 2001 they started you know i would go like something even 2001 something like that okay so that's about it i don't know what else to tell you these are a few people and uh, uh identified in American, Australian, Iron Curtain world. Yeah, this is like an Iron Curtain. Uh, it's many people like this. Uh, but these two were actually in Poland. And uh, that's what stimulated me. In, and both of these people liked me. They sacrificed me. Yeah. Man, I hope the James break. I hope that you find your way back to me. Uh, this really is not worth, not women, not shit that we would meet and get to know each other. I would like, I would like your perspective. I would like to understand how you saw these things. Uh, because it's different minds, different, uh, ideas that intersect. Uh, nah, because of the situation I was in. I was the one who was pretty much in this kind of situation. I wouldn't change my mind. But I'm interested in understanding people, what exactly happened, how how have they uh, viewed this thing, what exactly went on with their backgrounds and so on. Okay, today, the date when this stuff was recorded... There you have it. That's exactly about time. It's Friday, March 4, 2022. Five minutes after 1400 hours, 2 p.m. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.